Hey there, welcome to another Curtis Stage video tutorial. This tutorial is in Illustrator. This is our demo number two. We're going to be doing type on a path in Illustrator. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new document. We can click right here where it says create new. We can also uh, go up to the top in Illustrator, up to the top bar up here and go to file new. Same thing. So I'm going to click create new. It will remember the last document that I opened up. So if you were did my tutorial number one, my demo number one, it was a five inch by five inch document with two artboards. This time we're only going to use one artboard. So my only change is going to be to subtract one of those artboards hitting this minus or this down arrow. And I have one artboard at five by five inches. All right, we're going to click create. There we go. So what I want to do here now is I'd like to start this tutorial with an idea that I want to do type either around a circle or on a on some sort of movement. Uh, so in other words, if I want to have type go across, uh, let's say I just use my paintbrush and I, I want type to follow along this path, I can do that. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to draw a path. So let's do that again. Command Z, I'm going to undo. I'm going to go over here to my paintbrush. Don't really worry about any of the settings for the paintbrush as long as you've got black uh, as your stroke and I want you to just you know draw some sort of shape like this from left to right or right to left doesn't matter so perfect once you have that then we're gonna click on the type tool but we're gonna go to the type on a path tool so we're gonna click right here when we click the type on a path tool we're going to then hover our mouse over this path that we drew so this brush stroke that I have here is actually a path and when I click on it, you're going to notice the path goes away and some text goes in here automatically. This text is called lorem ipsum. This is kind of placeholder text. But it shows you that you could have any text go along this path. So you can type, you know, whatever you want in there. I'm going to just leave this lorem ipsum just so we can kind of see it. And I'm going to click on my black arrow tool. Once I click my black arrow tool, you'll notice that original line that I did with the paintbrush is gone. So once I click the black arrow tool, you'll notice the original line that I painted with the paintbrush is gone. And now I have just this text going along that same line. With my black arrow tool, I can do a couple things. I can, you know, kind of use it as a transform. So I can make the text kind of do that. So I can stretch it out, right? This is with the black arrow tool, so kind of as a whole. The other thing that I can do, and what I'll probably end up doing here is getting rid of some of these words. So I'm going to double click in here and highlight maybe something like that and hit delete. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my black arrow tool and you're going to see some lines on here. You're going to see three vertical lines. One right here at the start of my text, one towards the middle of this path, and one towards the end. And It's kind of hidden over there, but one towards the end. What this does is it allows me to move this text along the path. That's why I got rid of some of the text so I could move it along the path so you could see it. It allows me to move the text along the path. Pretty cool. This will also allow me to, I mean, if I move this one back, it's gonna cut off that text. I maybe not don't want that. This will come in handy when we do a circular path. And then this is the this middle one lets me slide it as well. But if I pull it down, you can see that I can turn the text so it goes on the underside of the path. So that's the middle vertical line. I'm going to push it back up so it goes in the middle. All right, let's do one around a different shape. Let's go over to our uh, a rectangle right here and pick the ellipse tool. And I'm going to draw a perfect circle. So I'm going to hold down Shift and Option. And it'll be right on the center in Illustrator. Doesn't matter that I have a fill in there because I'm going to go back to my type on a path tool. You'll see area type tool, which would have type inside this. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to do a demo on that, but you can kind of imagine that if I pick the area type tool, any text that I type is going to conform to this circle. I'm going to go back to the type on the path. As soon as I click one of those edges, notice how my actual vector graphic circle leaves and my lorem epsom goes here. Again, lorem ipsum is just a is fake dummy text. So I'm going to just Type in uh, Los Angeles Mission College. 
right? Let's say I'm doing a logo. I want this text to be on the on the circle. So then I can click my black arrow tool. Again, I've got the three lines. I've got one here. Oh, wait a minute. There's also one. Let me zoom in. Now that one that was at the end of the painted line of path, it's now all the way over here on the other side. Don't be too concerned. This is the end. Here's the beginning. So I can move this. This end just shows up right at the beginning. You just have to move it. So that will give me the end of the path. And that'd be good if I had really long text going all the way around this. I can decide where I want it to end. You're probably not going to use that that much, but this is the one that you're going to use the most where you can move this across here. The one that's in the middle, of course. Let me zoom out and find that. Command minus. Here's the one in the middle. If I take this and drag it towards the middle, now I've got the text on the inside of the circle. You see how that works? It's pretty cool. So that's so I can move it around. Here's the end. Here's the beginning line. And then this is to move it on the inside of this path or on the outside of the path. Pretty cool. Now, there's a couple other things that we want to be uh, uh, to note here. We can use our direct select tool and change this, the path itself, after the fact. So just like we can edit any um, pen tool anchor points, even though I didn't draw this with a pen tool, it's still a path, just as if I drew this perfect circle with a pen tool. So I can click this anchor point over here, and I can, right, with the direct select tool, the gray arrow tool, and I can move this, and you'll see my path will get altered as well. And of course, you've got the handles here that allow you to change this as well. So pretty interesting with that. All right, so type on the path can be really uh, exciting and fun. Let me do one more here. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to do a rectangle. Just kind of draw a rectangle here. Go to my type on the path. Click on it. It's going to give me text all the way around it. Again, gray arrow tool. I can click any one of these anchor points and change it. So now I've got text going around there. And if I go up to object, and if I go to type, and if I go up to type up here and I go to so if I go to my black arrow tool, click on this, and then go up to type up at the top, there's a type on a path option. So the default is rainbow. We can look at it, see what it looks like with skewed. So I go to type, type on a path. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to go through all these, so I'm just going to go to the type on the path options, and it pulls this little box up here, and then I can just go through them much quicker. So I can go to gravity. You'll see what that is. You got to have preview checked, and then you can kind of see what they're going to look like. There's gravity. There's rainbow. Rainbow's default. Skew. 3D ribbon. You can see how it kind of goes around this. Um, all right, I'm going to go back up to rainbow, and I can flip it. So the text is going the other way, so that's that. And then the baseline, align the path to the baseline, that's the default. The baseline is the path line, right? The text sitting on this path, it's essentially the baseline. But you can see you can align the text on the center of the path. You can align it below or above the path, so like that. So you've got that option. And then this is, of course, the spacing in between things. All right, I'm going to click OK to that. So that just gives you some more options. Again, you have to be on your black arrow tool, clicking on the whole object, and go to type. Type on a path to get to that. All right, so that's been our type on a path demo. Uh, thanks again for joining me. We'll talk to you soon.